setting up a PIX firewall with a PDM or the PIX device manager. Now if you can't get it to work it's probably because your Java is too new. Download the version that's on the download section on, the, on my website. So if you've got a PIX firewall set up it should be leasing you an address and it should have set itself up on 192.168.1.1 and it will give you an address in the same range. So to connect to the PDM dot one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot one and remember it's not HTTP it's HTTPS and it returned hopefully after a few seconds we should get an SSL warning just click yes now remember it's factory reset so there'll be no passwords always yes no passwords, yes. And the PDM will load. Now to set it up from scratch using the setup wizard, if you've got a wizards, start up wizard. And at the welcome to start up wizard page, just click next. Now we don't want to reset it to factory settings, so we're going to continue. Give the firewall a host name. and a domain name and I'm going to change the enable password, remember the old one's blank and click next now we're going to want to give the outside IP address a static address now I've just blurred this out so you can't see what the full address is Tap in the subnet mask and the default gateway. Now again, this is for that outside IP address. Let's take in my default gateway. And click next. We don't need to use that, so click next. We don't want auto update. Next. Now leave the inside IP address as it is for now and we are going to translate all addresses to the outside address. Next, right, I don't want DHCP, so take all this out, untick that, next, so was it completely click finish and it will reload. Now remember we've set a password now, so leave the username blank and type in the password that we entered earlier. Yes. And it will refresh. Now we're going to change the inside IP address. To do that go to configuration and system properties. There are a couple of hoops we've got to jump through first. Go down to DHCP services and DHCP server. We need to take that pool out. So just blank both entries and click OK and apply. Now we're going to need to add the network that we're going to swap to and allow it to connect to the PDM otherwise when we swap the inside IP address we'll lock ourselves out of it. So I'm going to swap it to 172.16.254.0 on a 255 which is what the inside IP address is going to lie within. When we've done all of those, then we can select the inside IP address, click edit, and change it. There we go. OK. Now remember when I click apply now, I'm going to lock myself out of it because I'm changing the inside IP address. OK. That's understandable, you can't talk to it, I've just changed this IP address. So I'm going to make sure I've now got an IP address on the same range. I have. I'm going to close all this down. No, I don't want to save anything. And now I'm going to open a fresh window to the new IP address, HTTPS 172.16.254. 
250. Yes, remember we've set a password now. Okay, pop up blocker. Just punt that out of the way. Yeah. Type in my password again. And there it is, up and configured with the correct IP addresses on it. The last thing we need to do is click File and save the running configuration to Flash. Apply. And that's us up and configured.